Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a five-time Grammy Award winner and a music legend. Please welcome to The Late Show, Dionne Warwick. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Thank you so much for being here tonight and gracing our stage. My pleasure. No, it is not. I want to point out, I got a, I got a photo to back this up. It is not the first time you have graced the stage. No. Here you are on March 5th, 1967, on the Ed Sullivan Show. Um, uh, two questions. One is, first, do you like what we've done with the place? Oh, beautiful. And second, what was it like? to be on the show with Mr. Sullivan. Oh, well, first of all, it was an honor, you know, to be asked to be on the Ed Sullivan show. Come on, give me a break. Yeah. Rock and roll singer, hey. <laughs> 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 but it was wonderful. I, I did a show quite a few times. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bob Precht, his son-in-law, he, he told me, was, I think you're his favorite. I said, <laughs> I said, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? Um, I'm always curious, as like somebody in the business, what's it like? What was it like backstage? Like, where did they oh, store my. you people? Mm. <laughs> like, were the were the acts downstairs? Were the act? Were the... Upstairs. Oh, up in the stacks and over there. And you had to walk up those. It's a lot. There's like stairs. seven exactly. floors up there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So they didn't you... care about us. Unless they had us, they had us. <laughs> now, um, during the pandemic, um, you became one of the most popular people on Twitter. In fact. <laughs> You got headlines like, how Dionne Warwick went from queen of pop to queen of Twitter, and the New Yorker <laughs> said, never tweet unless you're Dionne Warwick. <laughs> what is it? You found That's a new crazy. gear. You found a new gear over the, uh, the COVID pandemic. Yeah. What do you like about tweeting? You know, um, just saying what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> and to whomever it is that I want to say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In your age, you don't I, matter what they think. You know what? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it has a benefit. You know, I, 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 my mother told me when she reached my age. Your mother? Yes, my mother. She said, I am now old enough to say and do whatever I want to do, so shut up. <laughs> So I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Your tweeting has led to a collaboration with Crazy Bone called Power in the Name. Tell me about how this came about, and aren't you tired? <laughs> 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 Go ahead. So how did this come about? My son, Damon. Yes. And Crazy worked together many years ago when he was with uh, uh, Bone, Slugs, and Harmony. Yeah. And uh, they just... Reconnected. Uh, they wrote this song quite a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And finally, Damon says, Mommy, Crazy called me and said, We got to do this song. And I said, What song are you talking about? I had forgotten I even recorded it. But he told he reminded me. And we finally, back in the studio, did it, did a video, which you're very proud of. And you're going to love it. It's a <laughs> it, it is. Now, You're staying incredibly busy because this March, in just two months, you're going to start a Las Vegas residency called An Evening with Dionne Warwick. Yeah. Yeah. I, That's going to be great. That's going to be a great show. I'm excited about it because they're creating a room for me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're, they're making a whole brand new room. Oh, that's hey. nice. Hey. All right, what's, what's your blackjack roulette? What's your game? <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> That can be a gamble, too. That can be a gamble, too. <laughs> Throughout your career, you've worked with incredible people. Mm -hmm. You've had amazing mentors, including these uh, gentlemen right here. Guys this here. is you with Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. 
you worked with so many people. What, what, did, what's the best advice you ever got? Or do you remember any advice from yeah, your career? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, even in my growing years uh, throughout my family, they all told me the same thing. And there are two people that told me exactly the same thing. Be who you be. Can't mm -hmm. be anybody else. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be anybody else. I like me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you, the, the first time you went to perform by yourself, not with your family singing, yeah. but you by yourself was at the Apollo? Yes. <laughs> and, and, uh, and you won that night, right? Yes. And Nina Simone gave you a pep talk backstage. <laughs> Nina Simone? Yes. Right before you go on, what did she say to you? She said, she said you look a little nervous. I said, look a little nervous? <laughs> I How old are you at this point? I was 19 years old. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And she said, well, don't be nervous. I said, well, how can you not be? She says, I want you to go out there and make that stage so hot that whoever has to come after you has to tiptoe. <laughs> OK. <laughs> how did you do that? <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, it did. And it worked. It did. Have you passed that advice on to other people? Yeah, you know, it's the same thing. Be who you be. Mm. You know, go out there and do your thing. So you, 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 you have Don't Make Me Over. It's a big hit for you. You go on a European tour shortly thereafter. Yes. And they absolutely <laughs> love you over there. You know, uh, here you are. You, you, were a, you were a fashion plate. The French <laughs> love to dress you. Always looking your finest. Here's, this is one of my, <laughs> I love, I love the 60s joie de vivre you've got here. But one of the most amazing things about that is that they had put out this record, This Empty Place, yes. Dionne Warwick, and you know the, the cover I'm about to show. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you surprised them when you showed up uh -huh. because the record company printed this label on your record and they thought this is who was showing up over in Paris. <laughs> They put a white woman <laughs> yes, on did. your record. <laughs> what was the reaction when you showed up? Oh, quite amazing. <laughs> I walked out on the stage at the Olympia Theater. And of course, they were accustomed to seeing this. Yes. And it was, I mean, a collective gas. It was, <gasps> I said, yeah, I ain't no white woman, I'm black. <laughs> I did. And then you sang. And then until I opened my mouth, they didn't believe that I was who I am. Wow. It, actually, until I started singing. Then all of a sudden, they, said, they everybody kind of relaxed and sat back and enjoyed. <laughs> we have to take a quick break, uh, but stick around. When we come back, I will ask Dion about how she met Sidney Poitier. We'll be right back. <laughs> 